another episode of Long Lost Tech. Today we'll be taking a look at one of the more obscure pieces of tech that I own. If the camera will autofocus. There we go. Um, this is my Texas Instruments Silent 700 Data Terminal. From, I don't know, maybe the 80s I'd have to say. It's a data terminal, but... So, looking at it just like this, it looks like a printer, but this is one of the more rare and fancy models that has a built-in LCD. So, it looks kind of like an old laptop from the time, but it is not. It's a data terminal to use to, like, dial into, uh, you know, like, CompuServe or whatever. So, yeah. It's not, there's not much to this thing. I'll do a little outside overview or whatnot. So, you open it up and you've got your LCD, contrast slider, good old mechanical keyboard. At least I'm pretty sure it's mechanical. It sure feels mechanical. It feels too clicky to be a uh, rubber dome. and it's, I think it's too early to be a dome. And then you've got a thermal printer back here. As well as a cartridge slot, believe it or not. If I can... There we go. Uh, warning, going off the tripod. Maybe. Oh, I've got to press both of these. Oh, well that isn't working. What the heck? I'm supposed to be able to take the... No, I flipped the wrong switch. There we go. Okay. And then down here you have... I can't really see it, and I can't really turn on the light. I don't like the flash or anything, but there's a cartridge port down there for, like, for programs, believe it or not. So this thing, it's interesting. So I'll go back on the tripod. Here. Um, uh, I'll be back, and I'll have it kind of flipped around because it's kind of heavy. Okay, I'm back, and uh, yes, it's propped up with the VHS tape. Can't really see it very well, but on the back you have power switch, power connector, contrast dial for the printer, um, acoustic coupler port there, and then your phone line jacks. And that's all on the front and the back. That's the only port. So I'll get it flipped around and plug it in. Alright, so I've got it plugged in. I'll go ahead and turn it on. Open the lid and turn it on. Okay. Paper's jammed. Let me turn it off. See if I can fix that. Okay, I fixed it. And it uh, prints out on the paper the words Travel Mate 1200 because this is the Texas Instrument Silent 700 Travel Mate 1200 data terminal. I don't know why Texas Instruments made the name so long, but yeah, same Texas Instruments that makes the calculators. So I can turn on. Oh. Uh, Local copy and then adjust the screen, and you can see um, it's not working. What's up with that? What the heck? What the? I don't know what's up with this. It's supposed to let you type, but something's wrong with it. Um. What's up with this thing? I'm not sure. Oh, did I hit test? Well, now it's going to go ahead and proceed to print every letter in the alphabet over and over again. 
Please stop. I don't have. No, stop. I don't have infinite paper. No. Yeah. I don't know what's up with this thing. I don't have infinite paper. It just keeps printing more symbols out. What's up with that? Maybe we won't do that this time. Okay, it's not in configuration mode anymore. It was in the configuration for the terminal, because it, it does have a terminal in it. Uh, in some form of ROM chip, so we can type, uh... It's up here. Turn lowercase off. Texas. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for this machine. It's not great. Doesn't do much. Um, I don't know why it's not. There we go. And now, if we turn it off, shut the lid. <laughs> close it, we can see that it printed out all of this crap, for some reason, on thermal printer paper, and then long lost tech, and blah blah blah. So, I know it's not a very in-depth review, but there's not really a whole lot to see with this old thing. I just wanted to make a quick video for today. And it does have batteries, they're long since dead, but it's got uh, two of these four cell lead acid battery packs. Yeah, so, that was just a little short video I wanted to make. Um, I will try to make another short video today if I can find something to make a video on. I'm kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel right now, but if you have any suggestions on, you know, anything you want to see a video on, tell me, because I probably have whatever you want to see a video on. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll hopefully have some more videos out soon.